Brad Ender here with some more breaking news. Last night, a huge chemical outbreak occurred in a small lab in the middle of the desert. A well-known scientist was working late on something top secret when, frankly, everything went wrong. The hazmat team are already on the scene, but who was responsible for this travesty? None other than the well-known Dr. Traoris. You've got to be kidding me! Oh god, Traoris, why did you get me into these situations? I always have to bail you out. You shouldn't have even been in the lab at this time. But anyway, oh god, this is serious. There's hazmat teams everywhere. Um, you can't come I'm in sorry. Here, sir. This is this is protected grounds. No, I think I can go in. I own this lab. It's okay. If I can get through the door, that's fine. <laughs> um Wow. This is God, this is super serious. I need to stop laughing. This is crazy. Hopefully I can um what's going on here? Guys, do you you, you do realize this isn't a human, right? Uh, anyway, that's not really my business. Um, why are these guys locked up? They're in quarantine, sir. They're in quarantine. Beautiful. He set up some kind of radiation problem in the lab. What are you playing at, Traoris? Well, it's lucky enough. Look at me when I'm talking to you, Traoris. Traoris, what are you? What are you doing? What are you playing at? Well, lucky for you, I have just the thing to try and get rid of this. What have you even created, anyway? Let's have a let's have a look in here. What's the problem here? Wow, are you, are you kidding me? A mutant zombie, I'm out of here. Jesus, Traoris, we're gonna need some serious firepower to take this out, and the radiation with it. Oh god, well lucky enough for you, I've got, hopefully, something that's going to work. It's gonna require a lot of power, a lot of sunlight, but it's behind here. I've been keeping this secret from you a long time, and that's because I don't want you using it, frankly. So, this kind of kit is something you're going to be able to use to get rid of anything that's gonna require a lot of firepower, and I'm gonna show you how to craft it and make it, and power it up yourselves, just in case you have a pesky friend or employee that likes to mess things up. So... Let's start this bad boy, and it does involve sending something into space and harnessing the power of the sun, and it's really, really cool. Lots of explosions, and hopefully we can sort this place out. Even if we don't destroy the zombie, we can at least destroy the radiation. So let's have a look in here, and the first part, well, the main part you're going to need is an orbital bombardment satellite. Now, I will warn you in advance, this seems really, really complex, but it's not. It's really simple. They've got really long names, but I'll just kind of simplify it so that we get this done as quickly as possible to get rid of that flipping zombie. So, um, for now it's, it's safely encased in the obsidian case. So to craft one of these you're going to need a few different parts including um, a photonic condenser and a photonic capacitor. Now the condenser is actually going to need a lattice lens and they are damn expensive. Oh look at that. Eight diamonds in a square and one emerald and you're going to need two of these for one of the photonic condensers. That is crazy. So two of those plus one repeater and six iron will give you one of these and you use these, um, you actually use four of those plus a photonic capacitor which is a little bit simpler to craft just requires four gold and four glass and then you put those all together with four iron and you get this beautiful piece of machinery right here now this is like your launch pad for your satellite which will send it up into space and will allow you to harness all the power that you collected from the sun and concentrate it on one place to just create the massive explosion you've always dreamed of. I think it's actually quite funny. It doesn't fit in this square properly, but we're going to need one of those. But we're also going to need some power as well. We're going to need some photonic inverters and some advanced inverters as well. But really, in simple terms, these are just solar panels. Now, to craft one of these, you're going to need three quark lattice lens. This means that you're going to need 24 diamonds and three emeralds for just this piece. Then two blocks of gold, one photonic intensor, and three iron ingots. And there's also these lenses inside here. That, that's a lot of diamonds just for this one and this is the basic one and will harness the least power let me go and upgrade to an advanced inverter which will require three of the things i just showed you how to craft three iron two lenses and one condenser and this is so expensive but it's so worth it it's really really powerful and that gives you a solar panel that can follow the sun's path so it will give you a lot more power in the long run you're also going to need an extender which allows you to extend the amount of power you can hold and that's going to require four capacitors one condenser and four 
iron ingots. Then you need some distribution wire, which requires four lenses, one redstone and four iron ingots, and then an orbital bombardment satellite. And this is going to require, and is probably, no, I don't think it's the most expensive, but it's the most useful. It's going to be two iron, three gold, one condenser, and two capacitors. So let's take all of this stuff and go and show you um, how to set this up. Now, I am going to destroy Treoris' carpet because he's the one who messed this up. And, oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god, let me just fix this. I don't want to destroy all of it. I just want to make a little bit of a mess so that he knows what he's dealing with and what he's going to deal with when he keeps messing stuff up like this. <laughs> he's such a pain in my butt, but I love him. So um, let's put this down like this, and it looks fantastic. And when you right-click on it, it will give you what the name of the thing is, which is a bombardment overrider, how much charge it has inside it, the charge rate, and the amount of satellite uses it's got in it, because it will only allow you to use a satellite when it's got enough charge. So let's escape out of that. And now we need some power. So let's um just break these carpets quickly so we've got enough space. And the best way to do this is obviously with the photonic inverters, the advanced ones. But um, let me just show you the power difference. So you've got this one here and this one here, which is following the path of the sun. Look, it's kind of directing towards it. And when it moves across, that kind of plane will move to the sun's position. But if I right click the basic one, you are getting one PU, which is the um, unit of power used in this mod per tick, which is kind of like per second in Minecraft, if make it a little bit simpler. But the advanced photonic converter will give you four PU to a tick. So it is four times stronger and you need to craft three of these to make one of these. So it is better, but it does cost a lot of material. So let's just break these quickly. And the best way to do this, I'm just going to show you the quickest way, is to get um, three of these just like this and then put this cable in the middle and it will attach to all three and then attach this cable to um, your little distributor here. So when you've got it successfully connected and it's producing power, it will smoke and this will turn around. You can right click and you'll see that the PU is going up quite quickly. So at the minute you've got 12 PU per tick, but if I escape out of here and just add three more in just like this, we should be able to get even more power in there. So now it should be on about 24 per tick. If, I, if I've got that correctly, maybe not. Maybe it's still going up at 12. Maybe there's a maximum. Actually, let's try and add some of these extenders on the side and see oh god got magical electric sounds coming out now let's see if this is working it is working and i think we can hold yeah we can hold more charges so these work kind of like batteries when this fills up it will go into here it means you're not losing power and you're just making as much power as possible so we need this bad boy to charge up and i think we need about thirty thousand pu to be able to launch a satellite into space and when it does reach thirty thousand pu we'll be able to launch this this satellite into the air and be able to start our amazing decontamination of this flipping mutant zombie. I can't even believe he did this. It's so crazy. But um, let's go and have a look at the guns while this is charging up and then we'll be able to launch our satellite. And there's three types of guns. There's the low focus laser, the medium focus laser and the high focus. We're only going to use the low focus today, but I might I might just test these out because I've been advised not to use these because they're very powerful. But I'm going to do it anyway because I Trails has had his fun. It's messed up. So I'm going to have mine. So the first one you can craft is the low focus, which requires one low focus laser designator. Lots of words in this mod, but really it's just like a computer chip. You're going to need one diamond, four iron, and four redstone to craft that. And then you add that to a condenser, a lens, three iron, and three redstone, and you get your low focus laser. And if you move up, all you need is a different type of chip for each of these. So you need the orange chip for this one, and that requires just a slightly different recipe than before. And for the red one, you need a red chip, which requires a different recipe recipe again but a more expensive one as they go along so this is the cheapest one and hopefully this is the one we're going to be able to use right then this should be good i think it's going to be good right is this yeah this is starting to hold charge now because this one is full up and oh god it's it's turning tonight it's turning tonight right we're gonna have to sort this out quickly let's launch this bad boy so what we need to do is um i think we need to shift and right click and now that should launch into the air please launch um, please launch. Oh, there we go. We need to right click again. So you need to shift and right click with the satellite and then you need to right click again. Launch satellite. Oh my God, it's going. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> That's amazing. Goodbye, Mr. Satellite. Into the sky you go. And now we should have, um, some more power charging up. So that's going to use 30,000 PU, which doesn't take too long to charge after you've used all of these. And obviously we're not making as much PU at the moment because the sun is going down. But, um, if I change it to 
times that zero just just for the sake of this um you will see that it goes up to 12 again so there you go we're charging again and now we've got 100 uses which means 100 kind of ammo for our gun now that means we can use this bad boy but there's one more step you need to shift and right click this right here so let's do that quickly and now it is linked and charging up if it's not linked then it won't work which is fair enough now i'm ready for you zombie i'm ready to sort this out let's see what happens this is gonna be absolutely fantastic mr zombie zombie i can hear you i can hear you buddy how you doing sir i i'm gonna i'm gonna kill you right now or i'm at least going to get rid of um all of your radiation and stuff so that no more zombies turn into you let's do this all we need to do is right click and as you can see these amazing lasers come down look at this what's gonna happen what's gonna happen oh god <laughs> Oh my god, that was fantastic. I've locked him in. That was beautiful. Oh my god, that was fantastic. I loved that. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. Right, let's get the other guns. I need to get this guy out of here. The radiation I can feel in the air is, is kind of lessening, but we need a little bit of heavier firepower. So let's go for the medium laser and see if this sorts him out. I don't think that even damaged him, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to just blast him again with this. Let's try this. Ready? Go! Um, oh no, it's not linked. I completely forgot. Such a noob. Right, let's try this again. Link this. There we go. We got some charge in this bad boy. Um, now I'm gonna fire you, zombie, again. Oh god. Oh god, this one's bigger. Look at that. Amazing laser show. And bam. We did actually hurt him that time for one damage. What actually happened there? I think it just destroyed loads of under the water blocks. But now, let, let's go for the big time. Let's go for the big time to completely eradicate any radiation in here. And oh god, it's blasted off Treoris's laptop and oh god, his clock as well. But that's what you get. That's what you get, Treoris. Jesus. Alright, let's link this one. And now, oh god, this is going to be crazy. Um, I think we should be able to do this. Are you ready? Are you ready, zombie? Oh, God. It's kind of going outside the lab, and I think that's because it sets a radius of safety. And yes! Yes, it worked! Oh, my God, it worked! That's loud as anything. Oh, my God, my ears. But it worked! We actually eradicated the zombie! Grim, stay away. What are you doing? Grim, come back in here. Jesus, you don't want to get yourself hurt. We actually eradicated the zombie. That is amazing news. Grim, sit down. It's okay. We, we got rid of the zombie. But I want to show you a couple more things. You can all leave now, hazmats. It was at false alarm. I sorted it out all by myself with my amazing, my amazing, um cannon from above in the space but anyway there's a couple more things you can do with this mod and they involve different power of cannon that you can use uh, it makes more sense in a minute so let's try this out i think you can shift and right click and you can change the modes we've got a photon strike we've got lightning we've got a meteor shower and a penetrating strike so the penetrating strike is the one we've just used and let's just use the medium one for now let's go for the next one which is a photon strike and try that on this piece here here we go let's see what happens Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa, what on earth? Jesus. Um, I'm glad I went so far away from the lab then. That was huge. That was massive. So that was a photon strike. And now we're going to go, um, not enough photon charge on override. It needs 12,000. Okay, we've got enough now. Um, so yeah, they will run out of charge as soon as you fire them and only have a certain amount of ammo as well, depending on how much you charged before. And you're going to need to kind of keep replenishing every time you use them, which I think is fair. Right, let's move on. We're doing the meteor shower one, I think now. Got photon. No, no, let's do lightning. So here we go. Are you ready for this? Let's, um, let's zap something. Is there a dungeon down here? What's going on? What's going on? There's a dungeon down here. Zombies? Zombies, are you okay? You're gonna spawn? Let's just zap you. There we go. Let's see what this one does. Let's should just zap lightning down. Is it gonna happen? Yes, it happened. Oh my god, those zombies got absolutely fried. That was amazing. Yes! Right, there's only one more to do, and I think we're gonna go out in style by using the high focus laser designator and we're going to use um let's use the meteor one we're going to need twenty thousand. so i'm going to wait for this to charge up and i'll be back in a second to use this bad boy oh my god this is going to be fantastic well then guys we've just hit twenty thousand, which means we should be able to do this now we've got a meteor shower on the highest gun level it's going to consume loads of power but let's see what it does to um to this tree right here there's a tree in the ground there. that's a bit weird but anyway let's fire it see what happens oh meteor shower inbound vacate the area oh god what have i done what have i done um oh crap oh god ah, <laughs> that is crazy loud but awesome oh my god yes that was epic Oh, Jesus, look at that. We should have used that on the zombie. That would have got rid of it, but also, I guess it would have killed the rest of the lab. But, um, 
Wow, that was amazing. I need to go back to the lab to sort this out. Yeah, you die, zombie. Jesus, I don't think you're, you're really welcome here. We've got rid of all the zombies. We've got rid of all of the nuclear radiation. The hazmat team should be pleased. I'm going to keep Churros in that cage, I think, because he's just been an absolute punk. Let's quickly just go back in and try and end out this this flipping experience. It's been awful. Why? Oh, my God. This is like the third visit by the hazmat team this year, and it's only the end of January. This guy's never been here before, though. Look into his eyes. But, um, yeah, Treoris... Oh, Grim came out. Grim actually escaped the chamber, but... How are you doing, Treoris? You're a bit hurt. You must be a little bit hungry, but you can stay there for a little bit. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video, guys. And if you did, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today. And also, if you really did enjoy it, then please do leave a like for finally getting rid of the mutant zombie and his radiation from the lab. Or for just um, bringing Treoris to justice. Whichever one you prefer. So, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And if you do want to try this out for yourself and get rid of anything, like your friend's village, their entire house with a meteor shower or anything else, then please do head to the description below where you'll find this amazing mod. So, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I will see you all next time when the hazmat team have left the building. Thanks again. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye. <laughs>